Hello, I am Scientifically Skinny, and today on Three Minutes Gone, we are doing dry ice uh, with Professor uh, Justin Willey. And that's three minutes gone. Hello, everyone. It's good to be here today. We're going to learn some cool things about a solid gas, carbon dioxide. All right, let's get started. Start by chopping it in half here. Okay, we've carved ourselves out a nice iceberg. So dry ice is solid CO2. It's the same stuff that's in the air that you breathe out. It makes up a small portion of the atmosphere. It's negative 78 degrees Celsius. That's cold. It is cold. Okay. But just to give you an idea, there are some colder things out there. Liquid nitrogen is around negative 210, which is even colder. Now, the question is, what would happen if you stuck a queen on an iceberg? Imagine she was on the Titanic or something and she sunk. And she swims and she finds an iceberg to get onto. What do you think she would do? Uh, she would call for one of her royal corgis to come warm her. Okay, how about this? Nobody comes. What does she do? She starts to... Shiver. And then she falls over from exhaustion. Now, what else do you think the queen would do when on an iceberg? She would probably... Drink tea. Not, not be too happy. She could drink some tea. But if we stick her face down on the iceberg, she's probably going to do this. Okay, she let out a good scream. Uh, what's going on right now? All that gas trying to escape it makes a nice screaming sound. Ah! On the other side of the tuning, we have a polar bear. What happens when you stick the polar bear on there? Nothing. We have our tuning, and our tuning is a great conductor. It's metal, it's, uh, it's going to conduct the heat quite well. And when it's warm, uh, it's going to heat up the dry ice. And the dry ice is gonna sublimate, it's gonna turn from a solid into a gas. Uh, most things go through a liquid state first, but not dry ice. But when the polar bear is on there, it's already cold. And so by that time, sure. it doesn't scream anymore. <sighs> Delicious. It's non-toxic, don't worry. So CO2 is heavier than air, and you can actually pour it. Uh, just like you can pour other fluids. So I'm pouring it into here. I'm actually going to be floating some bubbles in a second. So now I'm going to fill this with normal air from my mouth. And, and this is going to be CO2 in here. And CO2 is quite a bit denser, so I should be able to hover a bubble on top of our sea of CO2. And that's three minutes gone.